So, in connection with this discussion about the, I think, the great spiritual distraction of, of blame and the spiritual cancer of, of anger, one way in which um, Muslims have interpreted even the prayer that we recite every prayer, every, every time we stop for our prayer, this opening chapter of the Quran, one way in which Muslims have understood this um, has been to read in it a Quranic condemnation of the Jews and the Christians. And the text itself, I mean, it's a very beautiful and very simple prayer for guidance. And it, in English, it goes something like this. In the name of God, <coughs> the gracious and the merciful, all praise be to God, the Lord of the worlds, the gracious, the merciful, the master of the day of judgment. Surely you are the one whom we worship and you are the one to whom we run for help. Guide us along the straight path, the path of those whom you bless, not the path of those who incur your anger, nor the path of those who stray or who wander lost through the earth. And there is a hadith tradition, a report about something the Prophet said. But according to this one report, in that prayer, where it mentions al maghdubi alayhim, those who with whom God is angry, or those who incur God's anger, that this indicates the Jews. And the dalin, or those who wander lost, indicates the Christians. Now, whether the Prophet, upon him be peace, actually said this or not, it is impossible for us to know with absolute certitude. But as I bring this interpretation back to our present moment, where we are so occupied with blame and so occupied with, with our anger and our demonization sometimes of those whom we perceive to be perpetrating um, injurious acts to the Muslims. I think that it's very dangerous for us to read the text in this expanded way. When I read, when I recite that prayer and I ask God to guide me along the straight path, the path of those whom God blesses, I think of the prophets, of course, the, the righteous men and women throughout history who, uh, who have uh, stood courageously and steadfastly for truth. And then when I come to al-maghdubi alayhim, those, not the path of those who incur God's anger, I think of myself and all the times that I know what is right and yet I do that which is wrong. And so I really am asking God there to save me first and foremost, not from the Jews or from the Christians or any. I'm asking God to save me from my own capacity to do evil. And I think this is, this is absolutely crucial for us. And when I read, you know, not the path of those who, who stray or who wander, I'm asking God to save me from my own capacity to wander through life without purpose, without meaning, without guidance. And indeed, uh, much of my life has been spent wandering in this way. So when I beg God to, to save me from the path of those who incur God's anger, first and foremost, I have to ask God to save me from myself. Long before I worry about other communities and their perceived acts of injustice or their perceived acts of piety. And when I pray that prayer, it is really me who is on the chopping block. It is really me who is in, who's in the, um, in the um, that theater of, of justice. And, and so I think it's very, very important for us as Muslims to regain that introspective dimension so that we can become transformed.